Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? This is Jacob from JC TechSpot here, and today we're coming at you with an update video on the newest jailbreaks as well as the past iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. So, as you can see clearly right here, we have an iPhone 5S that is jailbroken running iOS 9.3.3. This is the one year solution, so this is not the permanent jailbreak solution. As you know, um, just you know, to do a little bit of a refresher on the last couple of weeks in the jailbreaking community, just a little bit on what has happened and what you can expect. So, as you know, someone, you know, Apple has been pretty much getting trolled really hard lately, and someone was actually able to put in the App Store an application that was the permanent solution to jailbreaking. So it was called, I believe it was PG Client was the name of the application. And essentially, you could download it and right from the App Store. It was the permanent solution because, you know, it was from the App Store. It um, did not look anything like this. Um, this right here, as you see in the middle, that little blue application, is the one-year solution to the PP Combination Pengu Jailbreak tool, essentially, that allowed you to jailbreak your device. So, essentially, when you open the app up, this is jailbroken. It should look something like this, where, you know, it just basically says you are jailbroken, you have Cydia installed. As you can see, we do have Cydia as well. Clearly, we can open up Cydia, and we have, as you saw, all the tweaks were running successfully on our device. So, uh, just getting a little more into it. Essentially, you do have one year, 365 days, to use the PP Pengu Combination Jailbreak tool. This one that you downloaded from your Safari. Um, so it's until basically, essentially, the certificate is revoked. Uh, we're hoping that by then, Apple will have released all their new firmwares and that these teams have come up with new jailbreaks, essentially, but we aren't, can't be completely sure. Because as of right now, I, uh, Apple released iOS 9.3.5 to essentially fix a huge security vulnerability in their devices, essentially, that allowed a hacker group to essentially take full control of your device very easily. Apple patched it by uploading, uh, updating to iOS 9.3.5, but of course, that does patch any possibilities for a jailbreak. And now the fact that iOS 9.3.4 is not the latest firmware, the only, the latest jailbreakable firmware is iOS 9.3.3, which is kind of tough for some users because Apple has stopped the signing process, so there's absolutely no way to go back down to iOS 9.3.3 once you have updated in order to jailbreak, so that kind of stinks. So if you are already on iOS 9.3.3, or iOS 9.3.4, sorry, and 9.3.5, where you're pretty much out of luck until a new jailbreak does come out. So, essentially, guys, uh, another part of this update is that uh, Pengu and Taiji and PP, the three biggest jailbreak companies right now, as of today, um, are not going to be working for a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5. Although one has been found for iOS 9.3.4, if you remember, um, Essentially, Luca Tedesco sent out the image of him running a device on iOS 9.3.4 that did have a semi-tethered Cydia on it. Um, well, essentially, we do know that something is out there. It's just uh, working for the Taiji and PP and Pangu teams to find the permanent solution. So, now to the second part of this video is essentially going to be the update on the re jailbreak process. I know a lot of you guys were definitely having some issues with re jailbreaking after an unjailbreak. As you know, the uh, jailbreak being semi tethered, if you do uh, accidentally shut off your phone or something happens, you lose the jailbreak. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to power off our device and we're going to turn it back on just to show you guys exactly what happens when you do do this. You will lose the jailbreak essentially, although um, your Cydia and your tweaks remain, none of them will work at all. Cydia will crash essentially. So a lot of that stuff you've been working for is completely gone. I am going to show you guys the updated version on how you can re jailbreak in less than 30 seconds. So um, there were a, in the old update, as you know, the Pangu uh, jailbreak application does update uh, on its own in the background. And the newest update allows you to not have to change pretty much any settings at all other than finding my iPhone. You don't even have to turn off your passcode, change the name of your device, or to pretty much do anything for that matter. Although it might not work on the exact first try, it, you don't really have to change any settings. You can even be in airplane mode. So what we're going to go ahead and do, as you can see, we are uh, uh, unjailbroken here. If we go ahead and we're going to turn and boot into airplane mode here. And you, this does not have to happen. As you saw, I have a passcode. Um, I'm going to go immediately to the PP combination jailbreak tool and turn it off, lock my device. And as you can see, the jailbreak process will start automatically without changing any of the settings, including the passcode, find my iPhone, or any of that. You can do it all from the device without really doing anything. So that took less than 30 seconds, guys. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much just an update. So just a quick refresher, iOS 9.3.4 has been jailbroken, although we don't have the public release quite yet. iOS 9.3.5 pretty much the jailbreak teams, unless a new vulnerability is found in Taiji's jailbreak, which they have not released yet, um, then iOS 9.3.5 will not be jailbroken. And hopefully iOS 10 will be jailbroken in the near future, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like if this helped you. And thanks once again, guys. Jacob from JC Spot here signing off, and thank you for watching.